Hey and welcome back to building a MIPS computer in Factorio. So this episode will start with the time lapse. I think it's the first 15 minutes where we um, basically expand the memory to uh, three pages of four kilobyte each. So we have one for text, data and stack. There will be some parts where which are not related to MIPS because because there is a deadlock on my rails, which I fix, but it's just really four times speed and only the relevant parts, just to show that there is actually some base building going on still. Also, related to building that many combinators, I think 14,000 are for, two, for, for those two pages we built. <laughs> my power plant can't handle that. So, I will fix my power situation and also kind of work on nuclear. You should maybe get nuclear first if you don't want to run out of power. Fortunately, I don't rely on laser turrets and I don't have fighters enabled, so it wasn't a big problem for me. Um, yeah, and then uh, later we will work on the memory bus and finish with actually reading our first instruction from the memory. So. I hope you enjoy this episode and my past self can then take over once the time lapse is over.
Yeah, I noticed um, all those chunks are active. I thought they would not be active. Uh, but I think there's not much happening and... Yeah. Okay, so that's all memory. We need 32-bit RAM. So that will be basically this part. Where is this connected? Is this in there? Okay, I'll just copy this um, 32 times. Wait, how, how can I count this? <laughs> um, so this should then be 128 arithmetic combinators. Yeah. There. So, and the last one we don't need. I'll put that into my inventory for now. So memory expands here, right? How, where should we put that? I guess we can just put it here. It's a little bit tight though. Um, and I want to have it vertically. We could also have it here in the memory then. Still. To the west. Okay, I have it as blueprint anyway, so let's put down some of those. The question is I need eight digits. That's eight digits. Yeah, okay, that fits perfect. Let's try to align it. There we go. Oh yeah, turn mine off. So this will be the register file. Although it is kind of annoying since we need separate signals, but I guess we can do that. And I want to have those over here uh, to show what, what, what's in the register. Ah, uh, we would need the name of the register though. How could we fit the name? I mean, I think the name is... Yeah, um, let's move this. Do I still have... Yeah, I still have the blueprint. So... Move this again. And place it all the way over here. And then we can put this over here. Actually, it's four, eight, yeah. And then the register name is three thingies. They need constant combinators. Um, This is, uh, let's me look it up real quick. Okay, this is actually longer if you spell it out. It's um, spelled uh, dollar zero. I'll just say, do we have dollar by the way? We don't. Uh, 
that that's not cool. Mm. Okay, we have some space. Um, I'll come up with a solution later. Okay, it is in range, that's good. Okay, so let's... Why don't I have large power poles on here? Okay, let's put them here. Uh, since we kinda need them. So we have two red cables and one green cable. And this red cable, I'll just connect it right up here. Wait, what's that? Oh, we have two, actually. This red cable, this red cable, and this red cable. So it's three, three red cables. And shift left click for. So this is gonna connect up here. Oh no. It's gonna connect up here. And this was connected up here. Well, I keep it there. That's debugging. So this is the output. This is the input. Uh, this is writing. This is writing values, and this is the writing control signal. Um, which of course we could have on green, but we don't. Wait, it's... It's here. Right next to the button. Uh, yeah, it's ugly. Um, they're kind of ugly, but they will turn once you connect them. Oops. No. Copy that. Okay, um, I didn't copy this part. Let's do that, and I didn't copy the connections. So basically, this part actually. Oh no. Can I look it up directly? Yeah. So let's do that instead. Like that more. We can always still have power for there for debugging. Just in case. Well, that's basically the bus. Um, except, uh, except I messed it up. So those three belong together, right? This is enable. This is writing. So this hooks up here. So 
So now I want to have that newish. That's this one. So this one hits up here. This one goes, you have to kind of follow the highlighted stuff. Where's this one going? Well, this one goes to the second one, and this one goes to the first one. So this one. So and we can move this up here as well. Can't be stretched any longer. Okay. So maybe I will have them here. They're just debugging anyway, and so that I know what's what. So this is. The values you write. This is the right control or control in general, like a right address that's pulsed the input to be written, and um, well, we could just test it, right? We're writing to. Uh, which address? That's right, which address is this one? Oh, they, ha they have... Um, yeah, I have to set the... Um, so those... Just uh, they're not chained, they just add the offset for the bank. So I can move this here, move this cable, and instead add this cable. This is the code segment, so I'll just look up the address for that. Will be four one nine four three oh four, which is why is this going crazy? Okay, let's turn it off for now. Um, which is hex in hexes, um, four hundred thousand. Probably, uh, yeah. So this goes over here. Let's just move it like that. Right there in the corner. Hook it up. It is hooked up. This will be set to. This is the stack. Which is hex seven f f f e zero zero zero, so two one four seven four seven five seven four seven five four five six. I should probably display the address um, there as well. And this is the data segment, which is hex. Uh, one o o one o o o o. So that stands two six eight five zero zero 
Yeah, let's have a hex display for the address. Right here. Or he yeah, here. Uh, this can go. Wait. Um. I'll connect it using green, and you should show O. Yeah. Wait, where's that hooked up? Um, over there. So I copy those. Mm, that's weird. Disconnected. Oh, this one needs to be reset. Yeah, that's correct. Addresses. Code. Uh, so text segment, data segment, and stack. Why oh, don't have those displays here? We could maybe. Yeah, never mind. So why did it go crazy when I turn it on? Okay, nothing goes crazy. So let's write to this, maybe this address. Um, we need this to be then 419.4308 instead of 04. Um, I'm gonna set the value to 42. This just turns it on, right? So we go to 8, which is 42. And we can do another test. Um, and write to the data segment, which is 2685000992. Post that. Is that correct? I think there's connections missing. Yeah, this connection's missing. So this connects up here. This connects up there. So this connection is existent, but those aren't, so I'm gonna copy this. This should have set the connections correctly. So now if I write, yeah, this updates and it stores 42. Um, I think the stack should work as well. Um, it's just annoying that you have to enter the address in decimal. Stack is 2147475454. Uh, um, I'm gonna choose the next, uh, the second second one there it is so that that works perfect uh, should we maybe this is Text data stack. And this is the registers. Um, I'm gonna move that to the left. Um, anyway. We could possibly have maybe the name also above it. 
Oh, and they're so, they're so small. Small thingies. So. Um, so this should be able to. Okay, this can't reach, so I'm just gonna do this trick again. And this will be. Um, what's the internal value? Sort values on 3. So so we can just copy this I hope I didn't mess up the connections there where I misclicked no, I probably didn't, as far as I can tell. Did I miss them up here? Yeah, I did. So, uh, see this connection here shouldn't be there. This is output too. Well, it wouldn't wouldn't have mattered though, because um, the green connection is at the output there anyway. <clears throat> What's missing? Really? Should up the limit then. Okay, so that's the register file, um, and this obviously has its, its uh, separate. Oh man! It has its separate connections. Mm. Also, thinking writing to memory usually happens from the register file, so we might want to actually wire that up directly so that register out wait I have a graphic somewhere so register write is a mox no that's what is written write data comes from either memory or the ALU oh we're probably gonna ah problem is I can't really rename it without adding a well we need this mux anyway this can do the renaming I guess And then the register file needs to read two registers. One which goes into write data, yes. So we could just send into read register the address on on i and then this line could go directly in here. I guess I will build a unoptimized version first, where I kind of don't care about having too many um, decider combinators, because the more depth your circuit has, the more delay it has. Uh, but I'm gonna, be, I'm just gonna start, uh, say I'm, I'm okay with that right now. Um, we put them here. Yes, I guess so. Also need three, and so this is the output. Where did the output go? Here, on the topmost. I'm gonna choose the rightmost here, and then the second one is the 
right signals. They go. Uh, where do they go? On the first one. And this is the second one. Second combinator here. So this one was first, second, okay. So first, second. Um, I'm just gonna copy this thing here. So we can extend the memory this direction. Still have some space. Well, this will be gone at some point. Don't need that much more memory. Um, although we could technically remove those right now. Okay. So this is the memory bus. I guess I will also carry it up here then. So let's copy this. How is it in relation to... Okay, it's right here actually. So let's have it here. Or maybe we could have it even... This is the output, so this is the output. So this needs to be connected to, oh, it works, okay. So we can just do the turn. Obviously we could have put one signal on green, um, but the only green wire is the, <laughs> it's the offset here and the internal one, so. So it's basically this. And we could also take this from, like, from a certain character on a green wire here, so we can have a memory controller somewhere, which could then actually program. I mean, I guess you could even, if you use registers to hold those values, you could uh, set them via uh, programming. Maybe we'll do that later, like a memory controller that's memory mapped. Uh, yeah, and basically everything that will interface with the machine will be put onto this memory bus. So we can do I.O. then. Okay, let's copy this. By the way, this is not Mike's distance, right? Let's go max distance here. Unfortunately. And this is where Picadoli comes really handy. Hopefully. Yeah, okay, they can stretch far enough. Let's see how far we can go. This far. Actually, I should have copied that. Okay, nice. And this doesn't have power right now. So. Um, register zero is special though. Register zero always returns zero. Um, I can just pull up the register file here. Hardwire to zero. 
uh, one also. Oh no, one. We can use one is normal register. I believe we only have those. I believe all of those are just normal registers except for this one. Don't forget to switch back. Um, I believe this will stay at zero anyway because it would pulse if you write to it. But as soon as you remove um, your so this is the read thingy, right? This will output zero anyway. So basically, I think we can just remove this. So this will be connected to here. This will be connected to, this is connected to the first combinator here. So this will go there and this will go to the second one. This will go here and then I will just remove this. Uh, oh, and those should be one because registers are not byte addressed. Let me copy this. And instead of this uh, arithmetic combinator without input, I will have a constant combinator what was that for, right? Address of cell, which would be set to one. So this is address one, which is 80 then. Register 80, which is used by pseudo op ops. Um, okay, that's the register file. Maybe also put a label here. I believe we have an E, a G, and S. Okay. Okay, so this is where the bus will run. Basically, north, I guess. And then we can build stuff here. And this will be kind of where I test things out. So let's see what we need next. I think this is the, so we have the memory, the registers, and this is also memory. We need a PC, which is just a register really. So should we have that on here as well? Hmm, that would mean that we need an extra write instruction to write to it, um, but we could just also hook up a... Oh, by the way, I... would like to have those fancy controls as well for the register file. This is writing, this is, oh, that's not correct.
Yeah, it should be this way. Unfortunately, we can't do that. So I'll just have it here for now. Uh, yeah, like so. I like goes rotated this way. And we could really have those here. So, output, input, control. Maybe also some lights to display the signals coming from the CPU. In the PC, I'm not sure where to put it. But this will, the PC will be one read signal that goes into the memory. And then we will automatically get the an instruction. And then we this, the instruction goes into this decoder. Um, so first of all it's split. Maybe I should try to get an instruction. Um, I have this here. Let's see. Um, let's see if we can, yeah. So this will convert. Let's try it actually. I'm curious if that works. So, uh, well, it worked last time. So, where's the blueprint import? Oh, there it is. So that's basically the bytes, I guess. I think one is header and then data, something like that. But let's try to. So, okay. Let's, uh, let's just open it in Mars. So let's, why does it look so ugly? <laughs> Okay, so this instruction is like, what's the code basically? Um, load immediate. I think this is like Fibonacci or something. So, but add immediate unsign. Oh, let's use this add view instruction here. Or they just add this one. This is a proper 3T registers added together. Or should we try an immediate? Yeah, let's try immediate first. So, can I copy this? Um, well, I have to convert it to decimal anyway. So it's um, two four oh nine oh 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 two. That's this instruction. So let's actually get a 
Dance and Combinator. Or oh, let's write it. I, I will have it on a constant combinator so I don't lose it. Um, I being that value. So. Actually, we should have it over here. So let's set I to that. The address should be this uh, right address. Oh, that's here, right? Um, that should be our um, address of the. Well, I can copy it from over here. So that's where we write. So that's the first. That work. Yeah, so twenty four oh nine. Twenty four oh nine oh 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 two. And that's twenty four oh nine oh oh two. Yeah, that's correct. So we have the instruction. Um, let's pretend we have a PC somewhere over here. Um, kind of wanted uh, to be aligned with this. And it's also aligned with um, the memory. So this would then be here, right? It's actually nice. Let's see. Yeah. So we can have it like that. Um, and I will remove a lot of few connections. Um, okay, let's maybe keep them. actually have a register here which is the PC but I want a hex display okay so this writes I think I still have that's the first address in the code segment here. Why didn't it write? Oh, it did. This just needs to be set to X, I guess. And this is then our PC. So I guess I'm gonna put that on um, P. So I'm gonna change those around. This doesn't matter, so let's write it again. And obviously, this needs to be a P2. So, 
if we put P on this line, which one, why then there's signals on that I don't want to be on there. So let's turn off this. This is the read select. should actually talk to the memory, right? Let's see, let's have a look at the data path. The PC needs to go into the memory, but also into an adder, but this can be, and it takes input from there, but it also needs control signals, so top, two control signals actually. So I guess, will do it like at this max distance yeah like so wait we don't need those right now right we don't need those I need I need the signal on here, so I'm gonna do this. This is the read select. So I can hook this up to here. So this gives P straight it. Um, P goes into the memory. So let's see if we have a P on here. Yeah, we have a P. Let's see what that P is. Um, it was 604 something which is actually the value we've written, uh, so the instruction. there and we have the instruction um, unfortunately that's all the time for today but we just built um, the first part of the CPU which is we have the PC we have this line that goes into read memory and we have the instruction that comes out of here uh, we only need to pick a part um, what we want to use now. So I'm gonna use, take out those bits. That's the uppermost six bits. Maybe we can just do this quick. Um, so this would be then, um, let's just have you here for now you up, gonna be P, 
goes in shift right 26 I guess um, does this support binary by the way no um, and then output as opcode we have 9 as output let's check so it it's what what did we have? At EU. At EU, which is one, two, four. That's nine. Did I have? Oh, in game it's also nine. So this is already upcode decoded. That's maybe six bits. Oh, it's two digits actually, at most. Well, it's the opcode. <clears throat> then we have to pick out other signals as well and stuff like that. And but given the opcode, we can now build a uh, the control logic in the next episode. Um, which would be this thing. This takes the opcode and well, I think it also needs to function if the opcode is zero. Pretty sure. So if opcode is zero, we will um, that's for R type. They all have opcode zero. But obviously they do different things like shift, addition, stuff like that, jumps. But this function code is then relevant. Um, I think about uh, making a lookup table for that. And then we'll build that next time. So I Hope you enjoyed uh, watching um, and I'll see you next time.